Hi guys, welcome back to another video on this channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you about the Grey Ghost by She Revival, which is a water-based vegan cream pomade, which is absolutely crazy. It's an unorthodox water-based pomade, meaning that it will behave like an, like an oil-based pomade, but it will wash out easily, relatively easily. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this pomade in this video. Now, first of all, thanks for watching my channel i appreciate any kind of support so if you like this video leave me a thumbs up and if you are new please make sure to subscribe but i've talked already about the she revival crystal lake pomade which was in and of itself a really awesome water-based pomade it was a really awesome water-based unorthodox water-based pomade which uh, provided excellent control, an awesome finish uh, for those really like old school type of hairstyles, but also washed out easily with one round of shampoo. And I think that She Revival are doing great, great water-based pomades. Now with this one, the funny thing is that it's a vegan pomade and you don't encounter that that often because usually people use beeswax to, for their pomades because the reason behind that being that most plant-based waxes like carnauba wax or um, candelilla wax, they are actually really dry ingredients, which makes it quite difficult to manage them, I believe, because beeswax has a really nice consistency it warms up easily and it's not like it's not too dry in its consistency that's what i'm trying to tell you and then encountering an unorthodox water-based pomade with this is really really something special so uh, let's see what the product actually looks like i have already shot some b-roll for my german channel which i'm going to show you right now let's just say that the product is really very creamy and you wouldn't guess that it's vegan because it has a really typical unorthodox water-based consistency and I would say that the breakdown is awesome of this product so you take it out of the jar and it's like really super creamy like kind of um, a little bit like cream cheese I would say because it has some layers to it um, in that sense that if you take it out you see the layers on your finger for example and once you distribute it between your hands and you warm it up and you emulsify it it becomes really very very creamy so it's a super dense and also fluffy cream I would would say which reminded me a lot of like a skin type of cream in terms of application to your hair i would say that it's a little bit on the dry side but not like crazy dry like a hair wax would be for example because it's still a pomade and it's just has a little bit of a dry tack to it which isn't that bad actually because if you use it on dry hair that will give you an excellent control on one hand and also so manageability for your hair so you will be able to build volume easily and it just adds to this whole pomade kind of thing which is that you get a lot of control when using a pomade and therefore it's actually really really good the way i use this pomade however is i used it in damp hair and then i blow dry everything into position because as you see i'm growing out my hair right now so so that's like a really long hairstyle i'm currently wearing at least for my uh, for what I'm used to so since my hair is a little bit on the dry side uh, by nature that's really like I don't want to stretch it so I use it on damp hair then blow dry everything into position and it works really just fine without the slightest bit of stickiness it's just a really nicely controlling hair product therefore the styles that you can do vary a lot you can use a little bit of product for just a little bit of control in your hair you can use loads of product for getting this typical old-school barbershop type of style but you can also use a medium amount and then like mix everything up and then you get like kind of a modern type of hairstyle which is really awesome this was already something that I noticed with sheer revivals crystal lake because you were able to use a smaller amount of crystal lake for those loose type of hairstyles and a little bit more of a modern twist to it however I feel that with with Grey Ghost, this is possible even more. So Sheer Revival was a little bit geared towards those old school
cool type of hairstyles and it always felt a little bit off it, it felt like you were using the product not for what it was intended to be it did work really quite well but it was always a little bit like well this is not what it's supposed to be doing with this one however it feels like it's supposed to do everything so it's supposed to be used in this old school type of way but also in the modern type of way and i think that the product really offers this possibility and the flexibility to do so so as you can see i mean i've used almost half of the jar already uh, because i like it so much and it's like a really awesome product in terms of what it does in terms of hairstyling you should stay away from this product or any any type of uh, more of a shiny uh, product so any type of pomade for example or even heavy clays if you have thinning hair so uh, so that's something I wouldn't use this product on but if you have like dense hair and you know that pomades work for you then this is a really awesome product final things to address are the packaging as well as the scent as well as the hold of this product I'm sorry I, I almost forgot that but let's just talk about the um, the packaging first I really love their packaging this is some kind of metal-y kind of thing. I will be trying to get a close-up of the label uh, in this video as well. But let's just say their, their, their label quality and everything is really impeccable. So that's, that's really awesome packaging right here. And in terms of the scent, it's the usual that you get with She Revival. So you get some kind of herbal thing going on. I would say that the scent is a little bit weaker compared to the other products by them which are fairly strongly scented but this one you really just notice it once you apply it and then after that it's essentially gone. Um, but the scent is really awesome and it has more of a waxy type uh, of, of note to it I would say so it's not as strongly scented as the other ones and it's more on the natural side compared to for example Crystal Lake. Now finally the whole of the product is on the strong side so it's a fairly strongly holding product uh, let's just say it's not like comparable to a heavy clay so it's not a heavy clay pomade or something like that where you can't really move your hair anymore but it's it's okay i mean it's okay it's it's a fine holding product and it will last throughout the day so if you use more it's going to last longer and if you lose and if you use less you get more of a messy kind of hairstyle so that's perfectly fine with me and I think it's it's definitely a strong holding product and you can definitely use it for those classic old school type of hairstyles which require you to have a lot of hold. So final thoughts on this, an awesome little pomade that I really like to use. I think they have really stepped it up because as I said, it's vegan and you don't encounter it that often. It still washes out with one round of shampoo, not with just water. If you use just water, you get something like this on the next day, which is still awesome. So you kind of save on that product product uh, and you if you use it every second day it's it's awesome i decided to not use it today because i wanted more of a natural hairstyle and it still gives my hair some kind of oil and and conditioning effect with the natural oils and all that stuff so overall like a really awesome pomade and i really liked it so i'm going to put everything in the description box down below but before i finish please 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 let me know what do you think of gray ghost by she revival have you tried this pomade if so let me know in the comment section down below. As I said, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you are new, please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.